So a lot of people ask us about our special endo protocol for patients with endometriosis. So we're just going to share that with you today, and I'll give you rationalization for each step. So the first part is that we suppress all of our patients going into the frozen embryo transfer because you want to make that endometriosis as quiet as possible. How do you do that? The studies show that the best method is to use a combination of Depo-Lupron or any Depo-GMRH agonist, as well as Letrozole, five milligrams a day for three months. We then continue the Letrozole a few extra days past the 90 days of your Lupron or GMRH agonist. And then we just let the lining start to thicken. In most cases, it will thicken on its own. If it does not thicken, you want to use the lowest amount of estrogen possible. So start with one milligram per day or two milligrams maximum per day. Most patients are ending up on hormone replacement therapy protocols after they take Lupron. It's literally like hitting an off switch to get the endometriosis to go off and then hitting a quadruple on switch because you've now fed it a ton of estrogen after you just robbed it of estrogen. It makes no sense whatsoever. So that is a maniacal approach to doing an embryo transfer.